Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Gaia here. As announced in the previous video, today we'll talk about Italian pronunciation. Let's start with a sound that could be tricky and it's a merge of the letter G and N and it's pronounced Ng, Ng, not Gn, but Ng. So they create a new sound. For example, montagna, spugne, cigni, bagno, ognuno. Another thorny sound is the union of G and L. In this case, you must pay attention on the following vowel. The two consonants are pronounced one by one, so gl when they are followed by vowels a, e, o, or u. Sigla, inglese, globo, deglutire, and sometimes is pronounced gl even when it's followed by the vowel E, but in this case there's an N before the letter G. For example, Anglicano. It seems complicated, but actually there are not many words with this combination of letters. When the group G, L is followed by E, it's pronounced almost always L. L. For example, raccogliere, tagliare, aglio. Advice is always the same. Don't go crazy, try to study everything, but read and above all listen as much as you can. Let's move on to the next sound. Sh. Sh. When the letter S and C are followed by the vowel E or E, the sound is sh, pesce, uscire, sciare, scienza, guscio, asciutto, in all other cases. So when S and C are followed by the vowels A, O or U, they're pronounced one by one. So, sk, tasca, bosco, scusa. When these two consonants are followed by h, the predominant sound is the ch one. And we'll read sk, scherzare, muschio. The next one could be challenging and is the union of the consonants chi and ku. The pronunciation is ku, so the same sound of chi plus u or ku plus u. Sometimes it's challenging also for us Italians, but here a trick to remember when you must use chi. The Italian word acqua, water, and all those words related to acqua have ci cu. For example, acquario, subacqueo, acquazzone. And the easy part ends here, because there are also some words with ci cu not related to water. And you can recognize them because in those words there are the letters that form the word acqua. Generally, a, c, q, u. So there, there is water, but they have nothing to do with water. Now, the most difficult part. When using c, u and when q, u. Q, u is easy because it's always followed by a vowel. Check the first video for more information. Instead, chi u is usually followed by a consonant, but not always. Here are the list of those words. In this case, you have to study or just write them again and again and again. 
so it will become natural to use the correct form of those words and their derivatives. Let's conclude with another sound, but in this case the rule is easy. In a word, the letter B can be preceded just by the letter M and never by the letter N. For example, ombra, bambino, not ombra or bambino. The sound is very similar, I know, but in this case you can't make mistakes because the rule is always the same. Same thing for the letter P. MP is okay. NP is a mistake. Here are some words. Esempio. Comprare. Okay, we're finally at the end of this video. Hope to see you guys in the next one and don't forget to read is the key. Ciao a tutti!